Hello guys and welcome to this video. Now today I've got three watches to show you. I'm going to be focusing on these two sea urchin models though in particular. Um, now if you are new here you can follow me at Seiko Mods Dubai on Instagram. I'm just about getting to 2,000 followers there and of course please like and subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. Now um, this was a client order. <clears throat> this one I built just because I wanted to and this one I had originally built for myself but now I'm deciding to offer it for sale. So I'll go through all three options and um, I'll tell you about the watches of course, tell you how I built them, where I got the parts and uh, give you some advice perhaps on these models as well. So let's dive into this one. Now this is based on a Seiko Sea Urchin uh, which is the model code SNZF17. Um, I believe this is the K1 model I was able to get here locally in Dubai. Um, there is little difference between this and the J model available as well. Now this is the standard bracelet and the watch diameter is around 42, 43 millimeters. Um, and the lug to lug I think is in the region of 45 to 48. It doesn't wear very big and it is quite uh, slim as well. So this, these models usually uh, are found at a bit of a lower cost compared to SKXs. Now SKX 007, 009, Seiko 5 Sports and so on that I usually use in my builds end up costing a bit more. Uh, you can modify uh, these sea urchins to a really nice standard and uh, reduce the overall cost a little bit as well. Um, basically because the original watch is uh, already a great size, there's lots of moddable parts and um, it's powered by the 7S26 movement, automatic movement, you even get an exhibition case back as standard and the standard bracelet isn't bad either. Um, so if you're wanting to get a nice watch and you don't want to spend a fortune on it, um, maybe a sea urchin is a great start. Uh, and this one, of course, is done in what I'd call like a like a vintage sub style. So we've got, uh, let's zoom in on it actually, so you can see it a bit clearer. Uh, we've kept the original dial. This is a Middle East uh, model. So we've got an Arabic and English uh, day in there on the day wheel. We've kept the original 7S26 movement, although you can upgrade it to a NH36. And uh, we've outboard of the dial, we have um, updated the chapter ring to this nice, more minimalist sort of slim uh, style chapter ring with the red markers going around as well. And um, we've added a sapphire crystal. You can see that lovely domed sapphire crystal sitting on top of the dial there. We've got Mercedes hands and we've got uh, a little red tip on the second hand as well that matches the chapter ring beautifully. Finally, we've gone for a sub, or more, more, more so a black bay style um, bezel in, ter in ceramic, of course, as well. Now, all of the parts on this particular watch are from DLW. They've got a great range of par parts for sea urchin models, as do um, watch and style. And I'll come on to the green one in a minute, because that's mostly from watch and style parts. Uh, now, just in case you're wondering what, what's the difference compared to the standard watch, here is the standard watch on the left. And as you can see, it looks, um, though obviously the dial and the general shape and even the bracelet is all still the same, the face of the watch, um, the pretty part, is not as pretty as the one on the right. Now, I think it's just far too busy, that dial, those chunky um, markers on the bezel as well as the chapter ring really sort of spoil the look of the dial there and that is something we re we fixed on this one. So this one was actually ordered by my friend Justin here in Dubai and I can't wait to hand it over later today. So here's the build process. We started off of course by taking uh, the bracelet off, splitting the watch up into parts, changing that crystal and um, what I actually did was position the dial and movement back once I've swapped the hands back into the empty case to get that that um, chapter ring exactly aligned. Now annoyingly from DLW they don't have the little cutout so you have to actually fix in this chapter ring manually uh, which took me a couple of attempts. Then of course the crystal goes on and the bezel and 
bracelet goes back and it's finished. So there is that, uh, what I'm gonna call the vintage sub. Okay, now we didn't go for the NH36 movement. We could have, um, that would possibly require a different crown, although it is possible to remove the crown from the stem here and just switch out the movement. Um, it would have required a bit more work to keep that black day date as well. Now, looking around, we've got a lovely exhibition case back, and this is common with pretty much all Seiko 5 Sport models. You've got uh, fairly solid links, uh, although hollow end links, just folded over end links, um, a stamped clasp as well. So the bracelet is a little bit more flimsy than I might expect, but generally a really nice, nice model. And uh, it's, once it's sized, honestly, guys, it is uh, it fits like a dream, this watch. Um, so an entry-level model for modding, can't recommend the sea urchin enough. So next up, uh, the green bezel option. Now this one I just wanted to make myself. Um, I have actually been wearing it a little while on my Hirsch strap here. Now I'm not one for putting leather on a dive style watch, but um, I thought the color combo went really nice. And I'll uh, show you a quick glimpse of this one as well. So this uh, is a sort of a Kermit inspired build. Uh, so I've stuck with the Mercedes hands. I've got a sapphire crystal on there. Um, interestingly, this one has a white day date compared to the standard black. Now, um, I guess most people may prefer the black day date. It obviously suits this black and red color scheme a lot more, but um, the white color does balance the dial a bit. I actually originally needed a black Arabic day um, wheel in a three o'clock position, which is incredibly hard to find on its own. So I ended up buying this watch because I wanted to make this model anyway. Um, I think it suits fairly well. You can see I've got the, the two language option there. I believe that is the Chinese and you can switch it to uh, English, of course, as well. Sorry, that's just in the middle of the, the date change. <laughs> so you can quickly see me sorting that out. Um, so you've got a, uh, these parts are from Watch and Style, as mentioned before. So quality wise, exactly the same. Um, we've got a, a green sort of Kermit style Submariner bezel. Uh, again, in ceramic, we've got a nice double dome sapphire crystal. We've got their Mercedes hands, which match the loom really nicely as well. And um, inside is still a 7S26 movement. So I wanted to make this model because this is some, somewhat a simpler version of this watch. And this is actually a, uh, this is one of my favorites. Um, I originally uh, built this for myself, but I'm actually looking to more, some more samurai and turtle builds for myself because the cases just wear a bit bigger. Um, so both of these are actually available uh, to buy if you're interested in, in either. The, the one on the right is my original kind of Kermit S, uh, 5KX model. So it starts off life as a 5KX uh, SRPD55 um, watch. And I, of course I changed the bezel insert to the DLW Kermit or Green Submariner um, bezel insert. We've kept the original chapter ring in there and you can see quite a big difference between the two just on that chapter ring. We've also got the same hands. Uh, this one has the NH36 or 4R36 movement. Um, this watch generally, if you look at them side by side, is a bit more chunky though the SKX. It's got a thicker case. It's also got a sapphire case back under there. So let's have a look at that in a bit more detail. So there you go. That is the uh, watch and style sapphire case back. Uh, it's nice to have a sapphire sandwich, <laughs> as it were, on your wrist. Um, this one, of course, manually winds and stop seconds uh, time setting. Uh, this one has the Arabic second language as well. Uh, so out of the two, I actually like them both about the same. This one, of course, got the crown of three, so a bit more like the Seiko's version of a Submariner style. This one with the crown of four. Um, I do prefer this bracelet. I may have to try and find a qu good quality bracelet, something from Strapcove, perhaps uh, for the uh, urchin. Um, but this one definitely packs a little bit more punch in terms of its weight, its presence, um, the solid links, you know, milled clasp, and uh, generally a better watch. Um, however, 
it is a significantly more expensive watch to build as well. So depending on where your price point is, you can get those nice looks. And this one is probably still my favorite out of the bunch, the, the sort of Black Bay or vintage sub style uh, sea urchin. So the sea urchin is very much Seiko's Submariner homage, and you can make it even better with just a few choice mods. Um, so there you go, guys. Just wanted to update you on what's going on here at Seiko Mods Dubai. Uh, please feel free to get in touch with me on info on any of these watches. These two, as I mentioned, are available to, to buy essentially right now if you're interested. In. Uh, so just shoot me a message on Instagram and we can uh, connect there. Um, if you do want to order a custom build like this one, please let me know too and we can see what we can do. Um, but for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.